So welcome back to the GMAC Halftime Report. Great day of baseball here on ESPN. The Yankees close out Texas, beating the Rangers 6-4. Bernie Williams, a couple of homers. Yankees will play Baltimore. The O's win in Cleveland. Alomar, the game-winning homer in the 12th. Game one of the ALCS comes up Tuesday. Atlanta opens the NLCS on Wednesday. They limit the Dodgers to five runs in this series. Will the Padres be there? They need to win three straight. Right now, they lead game three at the Murph by three. Baseball tonight comes up at midnight with all the highlights and reaction. Warwick Dunn, four carries, 31 yards as the Seminoles lead by 17. And the second half is coming up. Don't let a new car payment be a financial burden. Call 1-800-32-SMART. About Smart Lease by GMAC. It just might give you something you wouldn't mind carrying around. Don't let a new truck payment stretch you to the limit. Call 1-800-32-SMART. About Smart Lease by GMAC. It keeps new vehicles well within reach. This is the Pentium processor inside the PC that runs the CD-ROM that lets you plan a vacation by taking a virtual tour. And since it is a connected CD-ROM, it hooks to a related website through your PC's internet link. So you can go online to book a hotel, which makes you happy that you have a Pentium processor. I thought that being away at college meant you could really cut loose. <laughs> Last night I did. I don't remember much, but I know that if I'd been sober, I never would have gotten in the car with that guy. I hardly know him. The good news is we didn't crash or anything. The bad news is now I've got to find out what else I did last night. How's this? You win a double overtime game by nine. That's what happens when Bucknell has their field goal blocked and Penn returns it for a touchdown. Patriots in the Ivy League. Six matchups head-to-head. -head. They split the six, including Columbia winning for the Ivies. Columbia's 3-0. The second half's ahead. Our cars carry precious cargo. That's why trusting your car to an auto repair shop is an important decision. It's nice to know that Furran Auto and the Professional Automotive Center make that decision easy. We care about your safety and provide a 30-point maintenance check for all foreign makes and models. Our highly trained technicians will repair your car quickly and dependably. Furran Auto and Professional Automotive Center, 20 years of proven service. And remember, when you trust your car to us, the benefits ride with you. AJ's has it all. Walk through their doors and you'll find hours of entertainment. Look to the left, then look to the right. Pool tables, 17 of them. Look all around and you'll see 12 satellite tuned TVs and a bunch of people always having a good time. Now walk to the back and you'll find a great game room complete with Daytona and air hockey. The stairs in the back lead you to the sky deck. Laid back live entertainment, mixed drinks, and a great view. AJ's is huge. All of this in one location. AJ Sports. Well, the Seminoles lead at 20 to 3 at halftime off the top of the telecast. We talked about they were not happy with the offense here. Mike, there are more smiles than if they had set schools out on Monday. Busby, 259 first half passing yards. Ron, it's all been big plays, though. Uh, Clemson's done a nice job stopping the run. There's only 20 yards rushing for Florida State. But when you look at this chart, uh, the, the deep throw, they've had a throw of 60 yards, they've had a 59 yard. And they've had a 42-yard pass play. So they've had three pass plays, 152 of the 279 yards passing. So it's been a big play half. Here's a pass to E.J. Green that caught kind of Clemson sleeping a little bit on defense. They went on a quick count. Peter Warwick, a good-looking freshman, is going to stretch out and make this catch. 50 yards over the middle. Warwick done against two deep coverage. Trying to be covered by a linebacker, Simmons. Wide open for the touchdown. So in that first half, 
a lot of different individuals for Florida State. And as we talked about in the first half, they have a lot of individuals who can uh, who can do damage to you. But E.G. Green with the huge first half, over 130 yards receiving and two touchdowns. This kick going to be taken by Warwick at the nine. 30, 35, and pushed out of bounds just shy of the 40-yard line. So let's check the buzz in the first half. 11 of 20, 259 yards, and the three touchdowns. E.G. Green with two of the touches, and Warwick Dunn caught the other with the isolation over the middle. Ron, he's had a pretty good first half. Again, the strategy of Clemson stopped Warwick Dunn. So Thad Busby's been able to take advantage of that with Andre Cooper, E.J. Green, Peter Warwick on the outside. Done. Oh, he gets hit very hard. Maybe a gain of one in the play. That's Simmons and White and Kellen Winslow. Let's check in with you. Gentlemen, I just uh, finished talking with Coach Bowden about his offense in the second half here. He says he's not going to do anything differently. They're going to come out, throw the ball. He wishes they can get the ball to Warwick Dunn more, but they're doing a great job, Clemson, that is, and stopping Warwick Dunn. Well, they have. You see the numbers, five of 32 receptions. One touchdown tonight. He's got it this time. Five, close to 10 yards out to the 45. Howard Bartley is holding on to him, a sophomore out of Decatur. But just talking about Kellen, what Kellen said is they have stopped Warwick Dunn's rushing attempts tonight because they bottled it up with seven in the box, but that's why you get the big pass plays. D.E.G. Green, Andre Cooper on the outside. So you got to give something to take something, and what Florida State's doing tonight is taking what's there. So done with a couple of carries to open the second half. They have a third down, and they need a couple. Three straight carries. Price misses him, and he's off. 40, 35, down to the 32-yard line. Antoine Edwards makes the tackle, and Melvin Pearsall, you saw number 81, with an outstanding block. And, Ron, here's why Bobby Bob wants to establish the running game, because when you live on big plays, sometimes you're not going to get those big plays, and especially next week they're going to play a Miami team that's going to match up a little bit better in the secondary, so that's why he wants to get Warwick done in the running game going in the second half. What a great back. Now, Dunn, 185 pounds, and you can see two pretty good-sized fellows get a hat and a shoulder pad on him, but he couldn't bring him down. Busby hit as he throws the pass, and it was Price, second time tonight, that he has gotten a hand on it. We talked about Trevor Price. He transferred from Michigan, and Clemson and Florida were his second and third choices out of high school so when he decided to transfer he just didn't like the location where he was at wanted to go south pick clemson very happy here they're moving him around in the front four tonight just trying to find a match where he can match up best against one of these linemen get some pressure on thad busby now for people at home saying why is a big defensive lineman wearing number eight as you see him almost jump outside he said he thinks that single number makes him look faster mike it also gives you a little bit of a target because those guys sort of start offensive linemen like those number eights. Of course, they don't like one that's 6'6 six, six and 278 pounds behind it. Abdullah, the ball carrier, the sophomore out of Davie, Florida. Handles it. Play whistle back in as, again, Florida State continues to no huddle. Work Preston in. Here's the set that's the toughest one, I think, for Clemson to defend because now you got Rock Preston in there and Ward Dunn, so you've got both the backs coming out of the backfield. Great receivers, then you got three receivers pressing you downfield. And this time, they only got 11 on the field. Last time they tried it, they had 12. Throws the pass, complete. Simmons made the hit, but Green loses the football. Now, was he down, or is it touchback? You know, we criticize the officials every now and then, but the only thing that I can see is sometimes they're not quick enough to make the call or, or move a little bit too slow sometimes. Like well, there was a little indecision there. Well, it's going to be a procedure call against Florida State. The main thing that you want them to do is point to the ground, which says, no, he's down here. That lets you know that the play's over, that the fumble, there was no fumble. Here's E.G. Green moving. 
gets pulled by the jersey and ball Bartley like is was the out. one. Bartley is the one who yanked it loose. Raymond Price or Raymond White. And Tommy West it in the end zone. Tommy West thinks it was out a little bit too quick too, but it's still coming back. So the penalty stepped off back to the 32 yard line. He raced the reception. I mean, Simmons really put a lick on Thad Busby as the ball was delivered, as they had both backers in the middle coming. Anthony Simmons has played a good game for Clemson on defense. Outstanding linebacker prospect. Twenty-five second clock. I think maybe started prematurely. Try to set up the screen, and he waited too long, and Rock Preston just got eaten up. Tony Platten, number ninety-six. Tony Platten was playing the uh, playing the call from the start. Really, there's no place for Thad Busby to throw the football. You're going to see him set the screen up right out here on this side to Rock Preston, but watch the defense. Tony Planton, number 96, they read it right away, and that's why he was slow to deliver because there's too many Clemson jerseys out there. Sean Liss waiting for the snap back at the 48. and it goes into the end zone. 10-54, left in the third quarter, Florida State by 17. Do you want the real truth about the leading candidate? The City Sentinel writes, this candidate has the biggest mouth we've ever seen. The Daily Times writes, the one candidate that's openly for sale. And the weekly contributor says, the only candidate with truly great taste. Introducing the Miller Lite Big Mouth Can. It's the only Big Mouth Can you can buy. No long-winded speeches, just easy pouring, great taste. Join the party. Choose Miller Lite. Life is good. And when you vote, life is really good. The Value Drive is on during Oldsmobile's Value Drive sales event. Exceptional quality and value. That's 88 by Oldsmobile. J.D. Power and Associates' best premium midsize car in initial quality. For a limited time, Oldsmobile is clearing out all remaining 96s. And with special factory-to-retailer incentives on new 97 models, you have an even greater opportunity to save. 88 by Oldsmobile. The time to buy is now. The Value Drive is on. See your Oldsmobile retailer today. Take a stroll down memory lane at the Pro Football Hall of Fame. You crushed my knee. It was your toes. You broke my ribs. It was your nose. Ah, yes. Oh. I remember it well. You sacked me once. I sacked it twice. In pouring rain. No, it was nice. Ah, yes. I but when you go, don't forget well. your Visa card, because the hall takes the NFL's best, but not American Express. See ya, Nitschke. It's Butkus. Oh, yeah. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. ESPN's presentation of Saturday primetime college football is brought to you by Visa. It's everywhere you want to be. And by Oldsmobile and your local Oldsmobile retailers. Ron Franklin with Mike Gottfried and Kellen Winslow, Tallahassee, Florida, on a cool and breezy night. Temperature in the 60s here in the northern part of Florida. And early going third quarter as we take a look at uh, Nalon Green coming back out. Gutsy performance as he injured a leg last week. 11 of 21, 99 yards in the first half. Throws this pass into the ground as Horn is who he wanted. And let's check in with Mike Tirico. Michael? Ron, we told you that Washington-Stanford game was tight. This McDonald's breakaway takes us to Seattle where Brock Hewitt comes in to replace Shane Fortney. Throws a 16-yard touchdown pass to Jerome Payton. Washington up seven, and they have the ball at the Stanford two. 
You know, Washington has had their share of left-handed quarterbacks, haven't they? More than most schools. He looks like a pretty good uh, passer. Yeah. 58, Peter Bulwer. Working against the big 79, Jim Bundy. Quick pass out in the flat. It's a quick screen again. And Clemson's going to pick up four, almost five, as Bush and Crawford combine on the stop on Brian Wofford. Renard Wilson again in there to pressure Nelon Green and got the hands up and almost deflected that ball. You know they're thinking sack all the time. There's the good athlete, Renard Wilson, number 55. His linebacker out of high school came in here 215. With a weight room, uh, he's beefed up now. He's at 255, and he is quick on that first step. Two of 10 tonight, only 20% on third down. They need the 30-yard line. Flag is down. They may have a free play as Green runs for the first down. Let's see where they mark him. I believe Florida State was offsides. Mike, I couldn't tell because of the, the player standing in front. I think it was just a tad short, right? So they take the penalty and uh, then wind up with a third. And... Well, it was third and five, but you're not sure how close that is. Whether it is a first down or not, they're going to take a look at it. You can hear the conversation. It's going to be about a foot short if they take a penalty, but they get the down over. The wind really howling here in the second half. If you hear that rumbling sound up here. Offsides on the defense. Five-yard penalty. Repeat third down. It looked as a bull wear. Came just a half step quick. Tried to get a jump. Quick jump on the play. Maybe got his helmet offside. I would figure it's going to be Emory Smith here. You're right. The powerful fullback out of Pensacola takes it straight ahead. He'll have the Clemson first down. Wore his brother uh, Emmett's number in high school at 22, but it wasn't available at Clemson, so he chose 18 Every for Tommy the West. Carry. And he had a good ball game in this one last year up in Death Valley. This time he's a blocker, but Priester goes it left guard. You can see 58 Bullwear, Vernon Crawford, 47 down at the bottom of that pile. And also 45, Henry Crockett. You know, Butch Davis and his Miami coaching staff is watching this football game tonight. They've got that big ball game in Miami next week, and that's one of the roadblocks for this Florida State football team. When you look at their schedule, they really have about two, maybe three roadblocks to go undefeated, and one of them will be next week. Mike, they only have to leave the state of Florida one more time. That's the game up in Atlanta against Georgia Tech. Second down play action. He's got to run for his life, and he just throws it away. And here comes the flag. Tommy West is out on the field. He says no, as Wadsworth was all over him, putting on pressure. Pressure on number 85, Andre Wadsworth. Intentional grounding was called. There was a receiver in the area. Disregard the flag. Andre Wadsworth, number 85, was going to put pressure on Nelon Green. He was a walk-on here, 6'1", 220, out of Miami. No one wanted him in college football. He walked on here at Florida State and probably be a number one draft choice in the pros. Shows how many athletes are in Miami in high school football. <laughs> From the shotgun, there's that shovel pass again. Priester breaks the tackle and is going to be shy of the 40-yard line. Henry Crockett. Also, Greg Spires came over to help out. Stop is made by number 
And as the prep team comes on, quickly a couple of injury reports. Linebacker Darrell Bush had five stitches on the bridge of his nose, and he will play in the second half. And fullback Bear Williams sprained the right ankle. He will not be back in the second half. Feaster is back deep. Feaster had his bell rung on his first return tonight. But obviously, okay, and back in the lineup. Kick won't turn over, but Feaster makes the catch at the 27-yard line and will take a break. 7.54 to play in the third. Seminoles by 17. The Value Drive is on during Oldsmobile's Value Drive sales event. Exceptional quality and value. That's 88 by Oldsmobile. J.D. Power and Associates' best premium midsize car in initial quality. For a limited time, Oldsmobile is clearing out all remaining 96s. And with special factory-to-retailer incentives on new 97 models, you have an even greater opportunity to save. 88 by Oldsmobile. The time to buy is now. The Value Drive is on. See your Oldsmobile retailer today. A long time ago, someone said, I'm better than you. Warriors collide. They meet in the air, on the ground, under piles. Enter a guy named Madden. Suddenly, players sweat more, look hungrier, get dirtier. His raw genius is everywhere. Tackles become hits. Front lines become trenches. Every inch a mile. Every bomb atomic. Plays are bigger than mouths, and they're barking. I'm better than you, and I can prove it. Madden NFL 97. If it's in the game, EA Sports. It's in the game. If you're looking for America's most trusted name in batteries, it should be comforting to know that Die Hard can now be found in over 1,200 additional locations. Western Auto and Parts America. Serious parts. Serious savings. Drive your car with confidence this summer and save $10 on the best Die Hard you can buy. That's right. Now you can get America's most trusted name in batteries, the Die Hard Gold, for just $69.99. Western Auto and Parts America. Serious parts. Serious savings. Peyton Manning and the Volunteers travel down to Georgia to battle the Bulldogs in an SEC clash. Tennessee, Georgia, next Saturday at 7, only on ESPN. Well, as you look down into the defensive huddle, Mickey Andrews, the defensive coordinator, on the right with the glasses. A lot more smiles from him this year, and from what you've seen in this ballgame already tonight, you understand why. Mark Rick wants to smile the same way, the offensive coordinator. Busby, good coverage, so he's flushed. Gets one good pickup block. And will go out of bounds. He'll pick up the first down. Mike Tirico, let's go back to you. Ron, old Southwest Conference friends, now in the Big 12, Baylor, Texas Tech. It's Tech by seven. Final seconds, first half. Zebby Lethbridge to field Scoville, 24 to 10. Then on the ensuing kickoff, the next play is a fumble by Jeff Watson. Jody Brown the hit, Monty Rager the return, Tech by 21 at the half. Oh, I could tell you upon the South Plain, they are doing some celebrating. That one's not history, but uh, Texas Tech, and Mike, we've talked about the defense of uh, the Red Raiders. They're a good football team. You know what everybody's philosophy now defensively is? Make the quarterback beat you. And everybody feels like that they're going to come in, jam receivers, play the run, and make the quarterback, when the bus hits the stadium, beat you. There's Tad Busby moving, and we're going to pick up number 28, Warwick Dunn, and look, he does it all. There's the block on Brad Pope, number 31. He and just does so many things. And Pope is the guy who's down uh, from that block and still being attended to, and I'm afraid they're looking at his knee. And Warwick Dunn went right over to him after he blocked him to make sure he was okay. Unbeatens today who uh, who lost Virginia of course had been unbeaten K State had been unbeaten and Minnesota had been unbeaten but uh, the that gets a little tougher as far as their road to success they had the big upset over Syracuse Pope is being helped off the field and we'll get a report on him you know something we really haven't addressed but last week on Monday the players at Florida State called a meeting without the coaches. It was Todd Fordham, 
The starting right tackle, number 71, and that man, 28, Warwick Dunn, and they just wanted to talk about what they could get going on offense because they know that they were not playing up to what they should be. And Warwick Dunn told him, he said, I need you guys. Pass in the flat is going to be caught. That is a really nice job by Green. Four catches for him now. In fact, the interesting thing was, Warwick even said, he kind of blushed when he said it, but he said, I haven't said something in the meeting. Yeah, he doesn't speak much. He uh, he doesn't say a lot, and he doesn't need to. E.G. Green with another nice catch. So anyway, after that meeting, then they started their regular week's preparation, and obviously the meeting turned out very well. Bobby Bowden said that the workout the very next day was the best workout they've had all year long as Abdullah will go for one. Most teams do not have team meetings when you're undefeated. Usually, <laughs> That's right. Usually they are when uh, things aren't going well, but they know next week they're going to run into a buzzsaw down in Miami, and they want to be ready for it. Well, Mike, they've taken offenses into Miami, into that stadium against that ball club that were well-oiled and refined and gotten beat. So they know what they have to do to be ready. Busby's pass, Abdullah. And the big fullback is loose in open field and popped down by Simmons inside the 30-yard line. Well, the biggest difference in Thad Busby and Danny Cannell last year, the quarterback, is that he moves out of the pocket. He's a pretty mobile athlete. He's going to move to the right side. He's going to find this fullback in the flat. Thad Busby, drop back pass. Nothing there. Now he's a good enough athlete. Now Abdullah sneaks out of the backfield, number 32. Gets the play away quickly. Pass for the end zone. Almost intercepted. That's Antoine Edwards. He was looking for Peter Warwick. They, they were going on that quick count again, trying to catch Clemson. Adjusting, not getting lined up. Almost caught him again for a touchdown. E.G. Green was the recipient back in the first half as they hit him with the bomb. And Clemson was not yet lined up. So now, look, Tommy West is calling the timeout. Yeah, they're, they're confused on defense right now of substitutions, trying to get substitutions to match the offense of Florida State because they're not huddling. Timeout with 6.37 left in the third. We'll be right back with more from Tallahassee. Congratulations. You bought some new office equipment. Do you trust a company who sold it to you to back it up? Some companies have made promises to back you up, but that's all they've made. Only one company has delivered on their promises year after year. That's why they're the number one place to buy office machines in Tallahassee. Monk's Office Machine Center. We deliver what others promise. Why should you have your next party, reception, or meeting at the Dragon Room Chinese Restaurant? The reasons are many. The Dragon Room accommodates groups of 10 to 200 in a beautiful private banquet area. Friendly servers will make sure you get the royal treatment. The Dragon Room will prepare special dishes just for your occasion. Or you may help yourself to the 40-foot buffet. Filled to the brim with great-tasting Chinese cuisine. Always fresh, always delicious, and always affordable. Serving Tallahassee for over 23 years, the Dragon Room has what you're looking for. For private dining at its best, call the Dragon Room today. In the middle of the night, many of us search for answers to life's questions. Is there a God? Am I loved? Why was I created? Did the Yankees beat the Twins? ESPN News Network, the 24-hour sports news network from ESPN. Who else? 20 to 3. The Seminoles still up by 17. Ron, when you look at the success Florida State's had tonight, they're doing it most of the time in the shotgun. And when you do that much throwing in the shotgun, you've got to run some draws to keep that defense honest. And you see the difference in, in results as far as shotgun or when he's under center. Dunn gets a lead block from Abdullah, turns the corner. He takes a shot over there. Check in with Kellen Winslow, an injury report. Kellen. Round number 31, Pope, the defensive back, hurt his anterior cruciate ligament. He's in a great deal of pain. They've got him on crutches right now. He should be going in in a moment. Will not be back, obviously. 
Okay, that's that is a big blow for uh, for Clemson and an outstanding student athlete. You remember we uh, we gave that back in the first half, and he was afforded that uh, that award from back in the first half when uh, when those were given. Burger King uh, honoring the scholar athletes this year, and he was the one. And it, it would appear, Mike, that uh, his season could very well be over. We certainly hope not. Short drop and out in the flat. E.G. Green couldn't hold on. Just dropped it. Lost his footing. And they're going to pick up. Andre Cooper is going to pick up a penalty. Bobby Bob's not going to be happy about this. Well, there was a little chicken fighting on the last play, and this one, it got worse. And you always tell your players, they always catch the second one. So you can't retaliate if somebody pushes you, unless they call it both ways here. Dead ball foul, personal foul, 15 yards. Well, they got Andre Cooper. He may have thrown the second one, but uh, that's the one they usually catch. Florida State now with six penalties, 54 yards. And he cost his team 15, as, as Mike said. It, it, the damage may have been both ways, but he's the one that got caught. And that's not what Bobby Bowden wanted in the second half. He wants points. He wants to get this offense some confidence and some continuity in what they're doing, attacking with the run and the pass. Anthony Simmons in the middle of that fray, number 41, the sophomore out of Spartanburg, South Carolina. Here comes the reverse. Warwick hit in the backfield, and Howard Bartley is right there to just eat up that reverse. Howard Bartley just ran right into Thad Busby first and just was able to take him off, and then Peter Warwick came around on the reverse. It was just timed up poorly. Bartley just, just tackled the whole world. Oh yeah, watch this. I mean, number 47, Howard Bartley. First of all, he hits the quarterback. Now, Peter Warwick's right there for him to tackle. So uh, he made an outstanding play on that. All of a sudden, this football is way back, just across the 39-yard line. One thing about this Florida State team, they can throw one of those high flies and be right back down the other end. Busby going to try to do just that in the end zone. Very nearly complete as Ford and Edwards combined on the stop, and there was a flag down in the end zone. So Tommy West trying to appeal his case. That's putting it mildly. <laughs> but it'll do no good. Next to McLean. A senior out of Meridian, Mississippi. Number nine. Started on both sides of the ball. Who's the quarterback? Yep. For uh, Clemson. It's an option quarterback and move the defense. So it's first down for Florida State. The ball at the 25. Green again, and he got hit out of bounds. And that's going to be Antoine Edwards who will pick up the personal foul. And you see his teammate saying, you know, why? Mon Wilson, just there, he's out of bounds. We don't need that. They don't need any help. Antoine's been tired running around trying to chase these guys all night. He finally caught up with one. <laughs> E.G. Green just coming out off of the route by Andre Cooper. It's being pushed out, out, of, out of bounds by Andy Ford, and there's the hit. He's out of bounds. Antoine Edwards. And now he has to go and explain to Tommy. Well, Tommy West tries to do some 
some coaching and some counseling on the sideline, but the most important thing to him is it is a first and goal at the seven-yard line for Florida State, and the Seminoles with a player down back at the 28-yard line. And the guy who is now in his Todd Fordham, the senior right tackle that we talked about, who along with the Warwick Gunn called that offensive meeting, and you can see he's got an injury to his right leg. Senior tackle, they cannot afford to lose him. One of only two, Chad Bates at right guard as a senior. Fordham, a senior out of Tipton, Georgia. And of course, they're starting a freshman, Jason Whitaker. Long actually playing tonight, Marcos, but Jason has been a starter there uh, for a couple of games as well. They've got a super tackle on that other side in Walter Jones, 76, yep. a junior college transfer out of Holmes Junior College. He was the athlete of the year in Mississippi. You know, Bobby Bowden said in our meeting yesterday, without hesitation, that Walter Jones could be the best they've had down here. That's saying a mouthful. And they're moving him over to the right side here. Alongside Marcus Long. Now the feet got tangled up. Busby's going to hold on to it. Raymond White has a hold of him, and he'll be out of bounds at the five. Dunn and uh, Busby got their feet tangled. Raymond White, the junior out of Clinton, Mississippi. We've called his name tonight. Mike, it's an interesting thing, and I'm sure Tommy Tuberville gets tired of hearing it. For both of these teams tonight, we've mentioned a lot of kids from the state of Mississippi. Well, it's junior college football in Mississippi's big, and a lot of teams will go in there and try to find players. Looking for Cooper. The ball tipped away, and it's Peter Ford who was out there working against Andre. And Peter Ford read the split of uh, the wide receiver, Andre Cooper. He tightened his route out a little bit, or tightened his alignment out, which to try to give him a little bit more field to throw this fade in. Andre Cooper working in the corner, but not, that was very well played by Peter Ford, 29. Giving away some height. He's 5'11", 6'2", Cooper, but he made the play. Yep, he really did. Nice look, guys. That's uh, That really tells the story of how close it was right there and the defensive stop he made. Third down. Got him. Touchdown, Cooper. left in the third quarter. Florida State puts their fourth touchdown pass in the books. And Bentley will try to get the extra point, and he does. That Busby with a good release on this play to find Andre Cooper, number one, working against Andy Ford, got him Level up and inside, and now he just slips. Andre Cooper wide open in the corner. Thad Busby was watching him the whole way. Now Cooper on the sideline makes up for his uh, transgression just earlier. The 15-yard penalty gets a touchdown. And the most important thing for Bobby Bowden and also for Mark Rick, the, uh, the offensive coordinator, is... Uh, Busby with four touchdown passes tonight, which equals what he did in the first three games. And another important thing, Ron, Renard Wilson and Peter Bowyer are now sitting over there getting ready to strap their helmets up to go after Nelon Green because he's got to throw the football now. So they're looking for that sack. Well, Thad Busby's been able to hold on to his quarterback job tonight. We talked about it earlier that Dan Kendra's waiting in the rings, the wings to Kind of the sensation that everybody uh, has talked about, a great athlete. But Thad Busby's pretty well cemented that he's going to be the starter for the Miami game and stay in there at the quarterback position. Oh, well, what a nice drive that was. 13 plays, 72 yards. Only consumed 302, but uh, that's that's impressive. Horn and Wood, the two deep men for Clemson. As Bentley will kick it off. With our score now 27 to 3. Tony Horn. Nothing to
to the left. Let's take it to the right. Crosses the 30-yard line and then takes quite a hit up just short of the 35-yard line. We'll be sure and catch NFL Countdown tomorrow as Mike Tirico and the boys start your day off right. They'll detail the history of the sack from the pioneers like Deacon Jones to modern-day artists like Reggie White. Also, Junior Seau, how he has matured over the years out in San Diego. All of that, NFL Countdown tomorrow. Well, they may chronicle the uh, sack in the NFL, but we're getting ready to see some sacks here in a minute, I believe, because these two defensive ends are just going to widen it out right now. There's no threat of the option anymore. There's no threat of the running game. Green almost intercepted. You can hear on the sideline somebody hollered, picked off, and it was Capers who cut in front. Mike, look at that. They're about to go into the sixth overtime, Florida A&M and Hampton. Hope they have a lot of Gatorade there because uh, they could play all night. A lot of Rattlerade. Second down and 10. 435. Left in this third quarter. Green's going to keep it. Mm. No place to go. You could see Spires, number 90, was out, and if he pitched, he was going to devour the, the, the pitch man, so he just had to eat it. Well, the type of offense that Clemson runs, when you get behind 27-3, especially with this defense, uh, Church is out because you, you don't have the type of team to drop back and throw the football to bring you back in this ball game. So you're kind of the mercy of the defense right now, Renard Wilson. You know, Spires might not only have made the tackle, he might have picked off the pitch had it been pitched. That's the ninth play for Clemson that has been thrown for a loss, a minus 29. Timeout, Clemson Tigers. Timeout, Clemson. And let's check in with Kellen Winslow. Kellen? Well, Ron and Mike, injury update on Todd Foreman, the senior tackle for Florida State. They've got his shoe off, his ankle's being iced down. He is out for the rest of the game. Repeat, he will not be back. They want to get him ready for next week. Todd Fordham, obviously an integral part of this offense, and most importantly, one of the team leaders besides being a very good player. I'll tell you, ankles are really debilitating. You wonder if he will be able to go next Saturday night. Well, you never know. You want him in the training room tomorrow, and uh, you'll get a better idea tomorrow whether or not he's going to be able to play next week. You know, the word that we also have gotten from the bench is... Uh, that Dan Kendra is beginning to uh, loosen up. So Thad Busby could be about to head to the showers, not literally, but uh, his playing time could be done because I know that Coach Bowden and Mark Rick want to see some reps by this fellow right here. He is a physical specimen. <laughs> Just Hey, there are a lot of linebackers that would like to look well, as good as that. Bobby Bowden said he could be a <laughs> linebacker, fullback, tailback for us to start right now. Green steps up, throws long, well overthrown, and it appeared Joe Woods was in the scene. Dexter Jackson, closest man covering. You talk about adjustments at halftime. Obviously, Mickey and company did something in the second half. Clemson only has 14 yards for the entire second half. Well, I think the biggest thing's been the offense of Florida State's been able to control the clock now in the second half. And when you get behind, as I said before, the type of offense that Clemson runs, when you get behind by 24 points, they're not a drop-back passing team that can, can bring it back. He Feaster, the only man back to receive Kevin Laird's punt. It'll be returnable. He's gone. Deep Easter shows that Florida State has a little bit of everything. On the punt return. 44 yards on the kick. Feaster had time to get it set up, broke that first wave, and then uh, it was history as he cut it back to the right. But they handle it and 
Bentley's kick is perfect. Ron, you talked about it earlier. When you block kicks and you put pressure on a punting team, you work hard on protection during the week. Look how tight Clemson is right here. Now they're going to, what what's going to happen is a ball snap. These players are going to try to hold up the Clemson players. Now not allow them to get downfield. So now Dee Feaster has to get by the first guy. If he can get by the first guy, that's the guy he's responsible for. He makes him miss. Second guy now, it's Katie Bar the door. Now he's in the secondary. When you get an athlete like him in the secondary, but that's the benefit of blocking kicks. That's the other side of when you block kicks, that you hold those people inside and you get that speed on you. DeMarco Fox also watching right here, number 12. See, he just tried to hit him with his head down, didn't even extend his arms to lock up. And when he went by him, the parade was well in progress. See, they blocked all 11 Clemson players and blocked the umpire, too. They knocked him down, too. I, he wouldn't have made the tackle, though, not from that angle. No. By the way, you have to remember, Feaster's the one who was knocked silly back in the first half. He may not remember that return. Oh, I think he does. <laughs> See the smile as he looked at uh, you know, Feaster, Andrews. Feaster of famine tonight. <laughs> oh, and it's only the third quarter. Well, don't forget, coming up later in the game, we'll be selecting the Visa Players of the Game. Price on the sideline, kind of a distant stare. 326 left to play in the third quarter. A lot of time left in this one. But teams like this Florida State unit who are so good, kind of like Piranha, Mike. And once that blood, that's right. <laughs> they're all over it, and that's a complete team. And when you look at that scoreboard, the defense has done a pretty good job today because only three points Clemson's been able to tack up there. Horn will go down on one knee. ESPN 2, well, it's the place to be next Saturday, 12.30. Big Ten clash between the Golden Gophers. They try to bounce back against this club who had a huge upset today. And then at 7 o'clock, Chris Keldorf leads North Carolina against the Maryland Terrapins all next week on the Deuce. Northwestern, two years in a row, have beaten Michigan. Got off to a slow start. Wake Forest beat them. that Mike Adam Lee and Adrian Carson are kicking in there as uh, helping the athletic department. I think it is. Huh? Uh, buying new uniforms. <laughs> I'd love to know which part. 15-yard personal foul call against the Seminoles, so it is moved from the 20 out to the 35-yard line. Look at the defensive ends now widen their stances, Ron, more so now than they have the whole game. Mm -hmm. And they try to take advantage, run it right off tackle. It'll go for short yardage. Emory Smith tackled by Sean Key. Tommy West had a nice game plan coming into this tonight. Stayed with Florida State for a while, but uh, the train has left the station. The one thing he didn't want to do, he didn't want to get Neon Green hurt and lose him for the season. But on the other hand, he didn't want to throw Billy Lucky into the fray in front of 80,000 against this defense. Now, I would expect to see Billy Lucky here pretty soon. See, Priester tripped over his own blocker, I believe, but he'll have the first down as he goes across the 45. Neon Green, he's had a gutty performance tonight, not practicing all week, hurt. They didn't know until they came out here and warm up whether Neon Green was going to be the quarterback. And you make a good point, Ron. You want him next week. Now, they, they've got Duke, I believe, next week. So, you want Neon Green to be the quarterback. So, I think it's just a matter of time. I'd put the hook on him. I'd spark Anderson him and get him out of here and bring uh, Bill Lucky in here. Brewster headed south, got sent west. Mike Tirico, let's check in with you. Okay, Ron, back to Seattle, which was a tie game at six. It's become a Washington win. Big fourth quarter. Shane Fortney now back in, throwing the second touchdown to Jerome Payton. Washington wins 27 to six. They are in the sixth overtime. Hampton has scored. We'll see what Florida A&M does. The team from Tallahassee is down six. Back to Tallahassee. Okay, long one there. And of course, see, they went to the bullpen. Washington did. Came out with a right-hander through another touchdown. That pass is caught, and then Horn really gets punished. 
Boulware with the pressure, and it was Colsey who put the wood on him. But that's a, that's a nice grab by Horn. You know, between Boulware and Renard Wilson, had Chuck Amato said they had 21 sacks last year, and they missed 10. And this is one that uh, Boulware, Peter Boulware, number 58, just bearing down on Nelon Green. That's why I'd get Nelon Green out of there. Yeah, you could see that headgear went to the midsection that time. And Boulware is going to come out of the lineup. And Sean Mitchell, 94, will come in. Looks like he's carrying his left arm. But remember I said back in the first half, yeah. I thought he had injured that thing, and I think it's been since then that it happened. Florida State offside of the play, and the pass is caught by Horn, and he stepped out of bounds. Well, I, can't, I can't say enough about Nelon Green. The game that he's played tonight. He's been under pressure this entire ball game. Renard Wilson brings it this time, number 55. But yet, Nelon Green stays right in there, throws the football, complete to Tony Horn on the sideline. Look at his throw. It's right there under pressure. If he could have just turned up, he was gone. Nelon Green has had a good night for Clemson. 132 yards, over 50% completion. It was Shevin Smith who uh, tried to, to make the tackle on that play, but uh, Tony Horn stepped out of bounds. 41 seconds left in the third quarter. Peter Bowler is back in the game. Priester, and he's going to be wrapped up by the other side. I think that's Wilson who's up. Yep, number 55, down on the bottom of that pile. We've talked about Boulware and Renard Wilson, but and Andre Wadsworth, but Connell Spain is also a force inside there. They, they've got a front four that doesn't allow you to double those guys because it's it's tough, difficult. You know, Renard Wilson's almost a freak of nature. In high school, they only lifted weights for one year. First time they had any training. He lifted 415 in high school. Here at Florida State has gone to 520, and he runs like an absolute deer. And when you have strength like that and quick hands, you're able to keep tackles off you so they can't hold you. That's the end of the third quarter. And as we head to the final 15, let's take a timeout. Seminoles, 31 points ahead. State Farm presents Rules of the Game. Today we're talking about officiating. In this play, there's a questionable decision. Can one official overrule another? When you're choosing a name for your baby, you want one you'll feel good about for a long, long time. It's the same when you're choosing life insurance for yourself. You want something that will endure. When you go with State Farm, you get a life insurance company that has always received the highest possible ratings for financial strength which means State Farm is one name that'll sound just as good when your kids are growing up as it does today. State Farm understands life. Today we're talking about officiating. In this play, the headlinesman ruled a good catch. The field judge overruled the call on the basis of the ball being bobbled. Proper procedure. Rules of the game has been brought to you by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. The Value Drive is on during Oldsmobile's Value Drive sales event. Exceptional quality and value. That's 88 by Oldsmobile. J.D. Power and Associates' best premium midsize car in initial quality. For a limited time, Oldsmobile is clearing out all remaining 96s. And with special factory-to-retailer incentives on new 97 models, you have an even greater opportunity to save. 88 by Oldsmobile. The time to buy is now. The Value Drive is on. See your Oldsmobile retailer today. Before introduction, a Moen faucet is tested at least a half million times against leaks and drips. So it's hard to find a more reliable faucet. No matter how you look at it. Moen. Buy it for looks. Buy it for life. Protect your engine. Remember, pure oil now, pure oil later. Pure oil later. Enterprise, rent a car for my trip? Looks expensive. It's not expensive, Mom. They pick us up? 
Sounds expensive. Pickup's free, Mom. Well, if it's not expensive, why didn't I get a convertible? Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. 34 to 3, our score, and what a difference a game makes. Take a look at this as far as receiving. Through three quarters, 71 plays, Clemson 51, Florida State. You look at uh, yardage, 375 and 182. Busby, his numbers, 308 yards, four touchdowns. And we're going to show you comparisons as far as receivers also on the season. That pass picked off by Florida State at the 25 yard line. James Colsey comes up with the fifth. I've been talking about Neilon Green all night, and this was not his fault. He got hit right in the mouth. They didn't block this at all. Spires, I believe, is who did it, Mike. Yeah. Greg Spires, number nine, you just hit him right in the mouth. Never saw it coming. All out blitz. You'll see number 45, Henry Crockett coming on the blitz. Then the inside. Wow. Greg Spires hit him right in the face. The yeah, Spires should get a part of that interception because look at that thing. May have been tipped a little bit also. Yeah. James it, Cozy on the interception. It was very wounded. And Dan Kendra is in a quarterback. Out of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. 6'2", 238. That's right. And hardly any fat, folks. Kendra, they try to strip the ball from him, and he's going to be sacked on his very first play. And Brett Williams is the guy who got him. Well, we watched Dan Kendra early in the year against North Carolina State on a Thursday night, and he just came in, made things happen. Eight out of 18 so far this season, two touchdown passes. And Ron, as you said, he's a good athlete. He can throw the football, but he can also take off and run it. And just the last play, a little bit of... Uh, indecisiveness on that play for him this first play now that a little a little hyper as he's excited to get in everybody thought he was going to go to penn state but bobby bob won the recruiting war dunn great second effort breaks it open oh what a job by dunn and he's going to take it out to the 35 yard line i still think he's the best running back in the country he runs like barry sanders of the lions just got great balance great lower body strength just gets the hand off here now you're gonna watch the tackles there one guy got a hold of him he just keeps his feet moving the lower body and takes off breaks that tackle gets in the secondary adrian dingo making a tackle i think he got his name ripped off it, it looked like see if he's got his name on i think simmons got it done again hops around for three simmons will make the stop on him and all, oh, see, he doesn't have a name. I, I thought that it was a flag or something on the, on the field, but it actually was his name plate. Clock runs are about to go under 13 minutes to play in the ball game. Sean Liss will punt it away. Antoine Edwards is the deep man. No check at its horn, number seven rather than one. Abdul is the up blocking back, number 32. Liss is kicked. This is a good one. Horn way back at the 15. Speed does it every time. We're going to take a break. 34 to 3, Florida State. Warwick Dunn having a super night. The legendary chalice of Malta has never come cheap. In 1238, it was captured by 10,000 Celts. In 1512, it took an entire armada. And in 1703, it took an arranged marriage to the daughter of Charles V, the older one. But luckily, if you want the golden chalice of Malta, all you need is the golden card of Visa, with extraordinary purchase power for extraordinary things. It's even mightier than the sword. Visa Gold fits everywhere you want to be. I don't even know why we're going to Pinecrest. Fairways are like swamps, sand traps are like clay. I mean, personally, I don't even find the course all that challenging. What do you want? Pebble Beach? Yeah. Kelly Springfield tires are designed to go a long way. So go, get every mile you can out of life. You know it's gonna be a 10 hour drive. Good thing weekends are two days.
past 13 years, no other import manufacturer has sold as many sport utility vehicles as American Isuzu Motors. But hey, why stop at 13? Right now you can lease a 96 Rodeo for some of the lowest prices of the year during the Isuzu Big Deal Clearance Event. The rugged, dependable, go-anywhere Isuzus. ESPN's presentation of Saturday Primetime College Football is brought to you by Isuzu, equipment for real life. And by Hager, stuff you can wear. Well, we have a new quarterback for Clemson. Interesting number with an interesting name. His name's Lucky, and he wears 13. He is from the state of Florida, Fort Walton Beach. He's very confident. He throws well. They probably will... In fact, they throw more when he is in the lineup and has a very strong arm. 6'3", 206, a freshman. Well, you can see his arm right there, and he throws a bullet complete to Horn. Mike Tirico, let's check in with you once again. Well, Ron, that wild overtime game is finally over. It was played at the RCA Dome in Indianapolis, and... Florida A&M won the game, 59-58. Hampton missing an extra point this game in seven overtimes. That is the most. Remember, the Yankee Conference in 1AA played OT before this year. Villanova UConn played six OTs in 1989. Well, if the Hampton kicker's leg was tired, <laughs> and it cost them there at the end. That'll be a popular score when it's announced here at this stadium. The Florida A&M has won. And, of course, if, for people who are not familiar with the overtimes, the reason you say one overtime, two overtimes, each team gets two tries, then you go back and you start it all over again at the 25-yard line, and that is considered one, then you move to a second, and new record, seven just like, overtimes. Just like innings. Yes. Just go to your finish. Some guys that are going to sleep well tonight. If you look into the Clemson huddle, they're down 34-3. to three. And now, Billy Lucky getting an opportunity to work at quarterback. It's Jamie Trimble over the ball, the senior out of Ormond Beach, Florida, number 55. Deep over the middle, that pass. He just kind of threw it for grabs into double coverage. Joe Woods is who he wanted, but Colgy was there, also Sean Key in the area. A lot of second-team defensive players out there for Florida State now. They know they've got Miami next week. They want to rest a lot of the starters. Joe Woods is going to run a post route, just well covered. Sean Key's going to show up, number 16, sitting back in center field, so there was no place to throw that football. Double coverage. So on this third down, Bullware has to watch from afar, which probably is just fine with Billy Lucky. But nobody told Greg Spires that because he's not a first teamer, he's not supposed to do the same thing. <laughs> no, and they, they really substitute linemen, and they do a good thing here at Florida State. They'll substitute from the first game on because two reasons. One, they want to keep their players attentive so that they're always in the game, and two, they want to build depth as they go down the season. So that's why Greg Spires is used to sacking that quarterback. That's two sacks of the Clemson quarterbacks this evening, and it brings up a fourth down. Now, Feaster burned him a moment ago. This time, they come after the punter. They don't get it. Well, I mentioned just a moment ago about numbers and how they've changed. Look at this. Through three games, last year combined what they had, this year's total. These guys were not very happy because it was a slow start. Now, let's turn the page and show you what they have done tonight. They had only 12 with four touchdowns in the first three games. But Green, five receptions, 156 yards, two touchdowns. Cooper tonight, four receptions, a touchdown, 37 yards. Had a lot of big plays out of this Florida State offense. Fakes it to Rock Preston, kept it in a long time, and he throws it to Dunn out of the backfield, and it looks as though he's got his first down. Mon Wilson pushed it out. Good fake by Dan Kendra. Affected the linebackers. Warwick Dunn coming out of the backfield. Here's the fake. A little scissors action there. Warwick Dunn just sneaks into the flat. 
Mon Wilson's going to finally come up, find him, and knock him out of bounds. That was a good fake by Kendrick. Oh, excellent. Excellent. A long time. Excellent. Well, he overthrows that one. Warwick is intended receiver. Now, folks, we talk about strength. And I kiddingly said a moment ago, most linebackers would like to look like this guy. I mean, look at the guns on this fellow. His number, he's 6'2", 238. Coach Bowden says he spends hours in a grocery store that, because he's reading labels, he wants to see the content of everything, make sure it doesn't have too much fat, that it's got a certain amount of calcium and everything. And he really is careful, not only to work it out, but what he eats. Well, that's why the tackles don't want to go shopping with him. <laughs> They want to, they want a little of that fat content. Ten and a half to play in the ball game. This is done. Looks for a block. And he will squirt through to the 40-yard line. Here's his strength chart. He runs a 40 uh, 4.6. Look at the vertical leap, man. That's oh, a great oh, athletic geez, ability. Good. Bench press is 425. Leg press, that is an FSU record. Over 1,300 pounds. And folks, he's a quarterback. He's not a linebacker. Not a defensive end. That's amazing. And he still seems to have a good range of motion as far as throwing. He's not well, muscle bound. He threw that last pass sprinting to his left. Uh, got a lot on the ball, a little high, but he got quite a bit of velocity on the football. And he's black belt taekwondo, and they stretch a lot. there. Uh, that has to be a help for him. Throws it complete. That's Warwick. And speaking of black belts and taekwondo, let's go back to Mike Tirico. Oh, yeah, that's me. Very athletic. Well, here's an athletic guy, Ron. Byron Hansmart, for the fourth time in five games, he's over 200 yards. 226 yards with this touchdown, and the first back in 1A over 1,000 this year. Now it's 1,051. You know, there's another guy that has not gotten a lot of notice, but over 1,000 yards this early is extremely impressive. The year of the running back. There's great running backs all over the country. to Cooper. Dexter McLean is there to make the hit on him. Well, a lot of people might wonder why Florida State has Andre Cooper on the field, Warwick Dunn on the field, E.G. Green on the field, and you're ahead 34 to 3. But I think this reason they're doing this with a starting offense, they want to see what Dan Kendra can do with the offense. They've seen what Thad Busby, and there's still a contention here of who should be the quarterback. Thad Busby cemented himself in there, but they want to see what Dan Kendra can do with this bunch. Well, he's got Trey Thomas and a Jason Whitaker in there on the left side. You see big Trey, number 70. He's going to run it. This, you see? He's got a really good feed as Bartley will finally wrap him up. That's the other dimension that he brings, too. He's got mobility, but that Busby can run the ball also. He's a quarterback that can take off. Dan Kendrick trying to find a receiver, doesn't, tucks it down. Now he becomes the fullback that Bobby Bowden thinks he could be. Well, the numbers on uh, Kendra. As he comes over to the sideline, three or four, 25 yards. And that one rush for six. What happens is when those linebackers come up to hit, they start to you know, kind of throb a little bit because they know it's a quarterback, and then they realize after they hit him, it's no bargain to hit him because he's like hitting a rock. But Thad Busby, the starting quarterback's favorite quarterback is Joe Montana. Dan Kendra, the backup quarterback, his favorite NFL player is Lawrence Taylor. So it tells you a little bit about his mentality. I thought you were going to say the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, he's second on the list. Will, will a lot of people think that Lawrence Taylor was the incredible hawk. <laughs> There's Abdullah. Speaking of that, look at this picture here. <laughs> Guess who that is, folks? That's, that is Kendra. I'm not sure if that's envy on his face or if it really is uh, food coloring. Under eight minutes, Florida State, 34 to 3. Wants that play a little quicker. So he can get up the line of scrimmage and make whatever changes he wants to uh, with some time on that play clock. Thad Busby, the junior out of Pace, Florida. Four touchdown passes tonight. And everything he did, a career high. You see Clemson creeping up. Play a little bump on the outside. And Kendra going to run out of harm's way. 30, 
25, and down to the 22-yard line. Mond Wilson finally took care of him and give Jermaine Stringer credit for an outstanding block. Well, the fans like the backup quarterback. They always do all over the country. They like the second guy to come in. Dan Kendra just tucking this football in, and now he becomes a tailback. He's a different running back now. Fullback a little while ago when he was trying to run over somebody, now tailback type. Quick play, pass, almost intercepted. As you can see, Antoine Edwards, Mike, this is surprising, as, as good as Clemson's defense always is. They don't have a defensive back who has an interception so far this season. Well, it's, it's been a tough start for their secondary, and uh, tonight they've been close on a couple, but just didn't make the plays. Dula comes out. Cooper will come back into the huddle. They're going to have to hurry. The 25-second clock is down to five, now down to four. I'm going to take a timeout. Yep, going to have to. So they'll stop the clock. 7.03 to play, and we'll take the break with them. Seminoles comfortably in front. <laughs> Over the past 13 years, no other import manufacturer has sold as many sport utility vehicles as American Isuzu Motors. But hey, why stop at 13? Right now you can lease a 96 Rodeo for some of the lowest prices of the year during the Isuzu Big Deal Clearance Event. The rugged, dependable, go-anywhere Isuzus. You know, more professionals use Napa parts than any other. And that makes all of our customers feel good about our quality. They know what it takes to fix it right the first time. Get your ride ready for the season at the right price, too, at Napa's tailgate sale. With Napa halogen headlights for only $4.99 and STP gas treatment, buy one, get one free after rebate. So head to your nearby Napa Auto Parts store for fall savings at the tailgate sale. We keep America running. Bold, tastefully done. Critics are raving about Three, The Grown-Up Way. From Mickey D's, producer of the critically acclaimed Arch Deluxe, comes three new deluxe sandwiches. Crispy Chicken Deluxe. Grilled Chicken Deluxe. Fish Filet Deluxe. And that's an order. Yes, sir. Mature taste. Love toppings like whole leaves of lettuce, juicy tomato, tasty sauces, and a fish filet that's 50% bigger. You're going down. Three, The Grown-Up Way. An exciting new part of McDonald's lineup. I'm going in. Going in with you. Minnesota's aerial assault takes aim at high-powered Northwestern, led by Darnell Autry. Next Saturday at 12.30, only on ESPN2. Well, uh, those guys right there certainly would, uh, would get a vote or in that direction. The entire defensive team as far as player of the game for Florida State. But we'll check out who are the visa players of the game here in the next seven minutes as we come down the home stretch. Florida State comfortably on top by 31. Warwick Dunn. And Price got a hand on him, along with Brett Williams. Brock Preston's going to check into the lineup for the Seminoles. And Just, Warwick will come out. See, a lot of times when you bring your backup quarterback in, he's playing with your backup players, and that's the way you want it. But as long as there's a chance that Dan, Ken Dan Kendrick can overtake that Busby in a key ball game, Bobby Bond needs to know what his quarterback can do with this starting group. Rock Preston, a junior, also out of Miami. 5'9", 183. Kendra, fake the throw, now puts a head down and runs over the defensive back. Peter Ford. Yeah, you don't see many quarterbacks. Usually they'll go down, but not to take the hit. But Dan Kendra's going to lower his shoulder. Watch at the end of this run. Peter Ford, 180-pound defensive back, made the tackle. And he gave up 58 pounds on the match. Kendra, 238. Fourth down. A couple of yards for the first, as you see the numbers on Kendra. Quick drop. Ball is tipped at the line of scrimmage. I believe Brett Williams got a hand on it. Peter 
It was it was Mon Wilson, number 42 rather than 92, who got a hand on the pass, and with that, Clemson will take it over with 5.33 to play. And, of course, for him, everything is a learning experience as well. So this means Billy Lucky gets an opportunity to run the Clemson offense for a bit longer. And they've got Xanders, number six, into the ball game. Very talented young man, a freshman out of Arlington, Virginia. Lucky rolls the pocket, overthrows Horn, but this kid's got a nice-looking motion, nice-looking arm. That's what Tommy West said about him. He would not be uh, in a fog here tonight. He could compete Florida's schedule. Miami. Virginia back-to-back -back games. Of course, that Miami game is the uh, is the key. And, of course, it, it, that's been an extremely tough place for Florida State to play. They've taken some awfully good clubs down there and come away empty-handed. And to get Steve Spurrier here at the final game of the year. Shovel pass. Donegan. Oh, my goodness, what a hit. And when you look at Miami, they're off to a good start this year. And uh, when you look at their key players, Ron, there's what you're going to face next week. Magic Benton, Danielle Ferguson, Ryan Clement. They put some statistics on the board. And they've got a pair of bookends down there at Miami that will yeah. be after Thad Busby. I'll tell you, with, with all the peripheral things that have happened down there, though, I tip my hat to Butch Davis. I think he has done a really good job of holding things together. And the Florida State, I believe the last time they won down there was 84. Billy Lucky just got welcomed to the ACC with, uh, with a hit as the pass was delivered by Hank Grant. Pressure, Peter Bowler, number 58, working up the field. Now takes an inside route. Gets chopped there a little bit. Feaster goes back deep to take this punt from Laird. That was a quick three and out for Clemson. Next week, Ron, we're going to have a pretty good ball game. I still think this Georgia football team is uh, vastly improved and can play Tennessee. They were close. Feaster calls for the fair catch, and he makes it at the 46-yard line. So we'll take a break. 432 left in our ball game. Florida State, 34-3. Have you seen this symbol in stores, gas stations, and businesses? Well, it means you can buy things with your ATM card in all kinds of places all over the southeast. You can buy eggs for an omelet in Hamlet, get gas on the run in Marathon, or get a package on the last train to Clarksville. You always get a receipt showing exactly what you spent. So look for honor and pay the way millions of others do. Honor. You've got it. Now use it. Your Honor ATM card now has purchasing power. Tallahassee NAACP will host their 19th annual Freedom Fund Awards and Recognition Banquet on Thursday, October 10th at 7 p.m. at the Moon. This fundraising event is held to acknowledge local individuals who excel in the advancement of human rights and community service. The keynote speaker will be Miss Olivia Smasham of HBO. For more information and tickets, call 224-0697. Support the Tallahassee NAACP. Come out to the 19th annual Freedom Fund Banquet Thursday, October 10th at 7 p.m. at the Moon. Huge over the years. All kinds of spinoffs have been created. There's been Sports Center, the Saturday morning cartoon. Hi, I'm Keith Olbermann. Hi, I'm Dan Patrick. Welcome to the Big Show. Sports Center, the concept album, and who could forget Sports Center, the movie? Dan, I but I'm not like the other sportscasters. You make me feel in fuego. Uh, Billy. Thirty-one point lead by Florida State, and uh, just under five minutes left to play. So, although the media has been trying to get them to talk about it all week, in four minutes and thirty-two seconds, officially they can start talking about Miami here in Tallahassee. Pass. That's a little hard to Rock Preston. And even if he had caught it, O.J. Childress was 
right there, he was going to disturb the play considerably. Number 56, O.J. Children. Gunn comes back into the ball game, and uh, here is his night. 12 rushes, 92 yards, three receptions for 37, and uh, one of those, a touchdown pass. I would think bringing him on the field right now, they're going to try to get the ball in his hands maybe to get, maybe they know like basketball, he's close to the 100-yard mark. That's it, Mike. They got him the ball, and he shot it. <laughs> Well, if you're going to win, this is the guy you got to stop. And here's that pass play. Nice job working against a good linebacker, but Simmons just couldn't stay up with him. And here's the run. Second effort, bounces it outside and gets what he can and goes down. Warwick done. And, of course, the nation knows his story, but it's, it's one that is worth retelling. A young man that uh, his mom was a police officer down in Baton Rouge and, of course, was was murdered and he has done a wonderful job of staying close with his family and helping hold things together and wanted to stay in school for the senior year. Kendra. Was it picked? Yep, it is. Antoine Edwards, and that is the first interception by a defensive back at Clemson this year. Well, they heard you talking about it. They wanted to get one tonight. And Dan Kendra just overthrew the ball too high. So Billy Lucky will get another opportunity. And this is one of those things, even though you're down 31 points, and Mike, you know this full well, this is like a good scrimmage, and there are certain things you want to look at that Lucky does and continue to find out his strengths under pressure. Yeah, good experience here for the backup quarterback. Hey, Joe Woods, we see number two in the lineup. And also Crooks, number three. Pressure is coming, gets it away, and that's Horn. Breaks by a tackler and loses the football. It's loose, and it is recovered by Florida State at the 45. Well, that's too bad because Billy Lucky would have liked to have a little bit more time on the field. Tony Horn made a great move and then just fumbled the football. Horn's a good football player. He was just there down big trying to make something happen. Yeah, that, you, late in the ball game, number seven, Tony Horn, trying to make something happen. There's the tackle. Grant caused a fumble. And it's going to be uh, Edwards, Mario Edwards, who will uh, make the recovery. And a timeout has been called. And we'll take a break. 3.27 remaining. Back with the final portions of this one in just a moment. for the lowest price of the year during the Isuzu Big Deal Clearance Event going on now. Oh yeah, mud sold separately. You have a 30-year mortgage. So shouldn't you have a 30-year faucet? Moen. Buy it for looks. Buy it for life. Roll into Pep Boys right now and get a full set of four 70,000-mile tires for just $169. That's any size, any four 70,000-mile tires in stock for just $169 at Pep Boys now. With all my racing around, weekends can get kind of busy. You can bet Shelly Anderson will make time for the national hardware sale at Sears. I could use a few things for the car. Like this Craftsman 13-drawer chest and cabinet, just $299.98. Or a Craftsman 75-piece mechanics tool set, only $59.99. This weekend, get to the National Hardware Sale at Sears and Sears Hardware Stores. I'll be checking it out in about four or five seconds. Well, the defense uh, can smile a little bit at the offense this evening uh, with a 34-point outburst. Kendra... Operates quarterback again, and now we got more whistles. Yeah. 
Well, it is time for our Visa Players of the Game. From the Clemson, Neilan Green, 15 completions out of 30 attempts, 132 yards. And for Florida State, quarterback Thad Busby. You see his numbers, four touchdowns on the evening. As a part of their continuing effort to further the development of amateur athletics, Visa is proud to donate $1,000 to each of these universities on behalf of these athletes. is fumbled and D. Feaster does only thing he can do and that's just recover. Now as we come down to the close of this one don't forget the residents in college football scoreboard Ohio State rules and I mean with uh, no uncertainty today California magic how about them bears and unbeatens go down today. All about and more coming up on the Residence in College Football School Board. Coming up in Golden Bear, sorry. Houston gets whacked hard by Mond Wilson. Ron, when I think of Clemson, every time I see their uh, football team, you think of Frank Howard. He passed away 30 years as a head coach, 42 years as a coach and athletic director. Passed away January 28, 1996. The bald baron of Barlow Bend. He was a character. Yeah, he Great really man. was. He really was. He is missed. Horn's going to run away from this one, and Liss's kick is just going to go dead. Inside the 10 yard line. 123 left in this one. Mike, here's the question Does Ohio State leapfrog this group right here? Could. I mean, I, I, somebody said Lee Corso said they would. Uh, I don't think when you win a game 34 to 3 that you should get leapfrog. But uh, they've got plenty of tough games. They're going to get Georgia Tech, Virginia, Florida. So Florida State's going to be in the hunt for this national championship all year. I'd say no. Andre Cooper, touchdown pass tonight. Bullware, constant pressure on the quarterbacks for uh, Clemson. And this offensive line right here has done an outstanding job. Can I reconsider that? I forgot I'm speaking in Columbus, Ohio tomorrow. All right, I'll ask the question again. Mike, do you think there's a possibility they could leapfrog Florida State? I think there's a very good possibility, uh, but I, I, I can't do that. I still think Florida State has to stay up there. Florida, Florida State, then Ohio State. 